Hello and welcome to a new episode of Satisfactory Rocky Desert. We are going to build and build a lot. But first thing first, we found a little yeah, crest airplane in between episodes and I found a hard drive. It's next to the starport, so if you've seen the tour, you should have already seen the, uh, the crash site and it's a hard drive. And we're going to check out what we can get for that because I know it can do some nice stuff. So it's going to take us 10 minutes to analyze that and in the meantime we are going to dismantle this power section. <clears throat> Just because we don't need it anymore. Because we got power up and running. And I kind of like that. Uh, well, I'm not quite sure if I can dismantle that one. <clears throat> and in the meantime we are going to go back to the factory and well we are going to keep instructing them i am hoping i'm really hoping that the hard drives unlock the rot way uh, or the iron rod way to with uh, building screws without the iron rod well i'm trying to tell that one a lot of time but it, it just didn't come out right you sometimes or i sometimes have that problem i really don't like this way i build this and i'm not quite sure well i'm not going to keep this for sure but i'm also not sure how to fix it yet and as you can see we definitely need our conveyor belt level three because well i got a lot of storage capacity but it's not filling up that fast and that's mainly because of this this isn't going fast enough it's stacking it's stacking it's stacking and i could build too but well i need steel factory for that and that's not going to happen in this episode all right this episode is going to be totally focused on well kind of finish this and I'm going to show you guys a little trick, but first we need some more workers on this this plateau because I'm building can't afford it. Oh crappy. My pardon my language. I need uh, how many I need? One, two, three, four, five. I need five. That's fifteen reinforced plates. Uh, let's see if we can make them. I don't think so, but we can make 12. Well, that, that's more than I expected. And we need 15, and I think we already had three. No, we don't, didn't have three. Now we need some reinforced plates, and we have plenty of those laying around here. This, this also needs to be expanded, but I think I'm doing that in between episodes. Kind of making uh, the, it like the other factory with all the smelters at the beginning, storage in between and uh, making it a little bit more efficient because you will see once that factory is up and running it will take more time to set up but it's worth it I've tested it with my buddy WT in the stream and well it, it's quite an amazing setup and the way it goes, you got two lines going in, one on this side, it's a low line, and this is the high line, and the output line in this section is the low line on this way, and it's going to go, well, yeah, let me just show you, because it's quite fun to build, and I did need to go that way. So, uh, let me see, this is going to be... It's going to fit. Yes, it's going to fit. Now I need in between one, two, three because the belts are only going. Well, they only. Come on. They only go as far as three workers, and we only have level one belt. Now, the rule with the splitter zip, you have to put the belt on first, and then you have to put the splitters on. Come on, this way. Now the second rule is that you need to put the top one on first 
and then this, the bottom splitter but I will show you in a few minutes what I mean because well I'm telling you but it doesn't make any sense I know I know let's first make the workers go up there <clears throat> and let's see put them as far as possible but I know and if you play this game you should know as well one worker doesn't fit one plateau it's kind of annoying because that would make it way easier for people like me and I should have five on that one two three four five and as you can see well I if, if they could make half blocks I would love them to do that because I kind of need half blocks that way I could place a six one on this one if you know a better way or a way to get that on well just let me know all right now for the second part the second part is putting on the top splitters and uh, let me get on top of this because from the top you can do it way easier let's get a splitter logistic splitter and put it exactly on the line all right next one and ding 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 and that one i haven't put any power on this hmm that's going to be a problem i didn't calculate for the power i usually forget that so well all right now that i've done that maybe we should have think about the power but everything is so close on each other need to use the optimal space let's first do the merger part now we can fit in the bottom mercher because this one area is going to have a mercher section and that way ooh. thank you fitting perfectly I guess within the five minutes we should have the hard drive disk finished I'm missing two iron plates. Oh man, the ironity. Now I need to walk all the way back. I guess I should make more workbenches around the factory because that way I don't need to walk all the way back. In the meantime, let us check on our research. Because I kind of want to know if I'm lucky. I'm never lucky. Yes. Uh, no, no, not that one. It's going to take two more minutes and 25 seconds. Oh my god, oh my god. We're getting that close. We're getting close. Alright, let's get the plates. <clears throat> Normally, you would have to make our rods first, but... Let's hope we are lucky and we can make iron bars into screws the easy way. That's going to save us a lot of space in this factory section because I kind of want to have well the ultim ultimate screw department to screw everybody around. <laughs> All right, one more mercher. And now I can kind of show you. Now you got a splitter on top and a merger in the bottom. If you try to do this uh, bottom to top, it won't work. So let this be a little tip. It won't work if you do it that way. So first belt, then top splitter, then bottom splitter. Oh yeah, I forgot one little detail. Before you put on the bottom splitter, you need to connect the top splitter. Damn. All right, let me do this all over. I'm screwing it up. I'm screwing it up, but yeah, we need to wait two minutes. Uh, this one doesn't need to be because this one gets connected the easy way. All right, now let's walk our way all the way back. That one was connected. All right, little detail in the explanation, but well, I just did it 
to show you guys what could go wrong and that it didn't work. Yeah, no, you don't believe me, don't you? No, I wouldn't believe myself. Now you can put this one in there. <laughs> And now it's connected, like you want it to be connected. Alright, let's all put all the mergers in position. And now let's put in the belt. My apologies. Oh man. I really need to get a drink or something like that. It's hard working in this factory. And as you can see now we have the top line going in there feeding and we can well kinda make it nice and clean. Just like we want to. I want to have two storage departments for the screws, so the first uh screw department storage is going to be somewhere. Well I don't know yet. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not sure. Um, 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 oh yeah, power. We need power. That's the last thing we need. Power in this crazy factory. Where the hell am I going to put the power poles? I got power sections on every side. Um, oh man. I forgot about the power, now I got no place to place them. Kinda not want to place them there. Don't like that. Hmm. I don't like it. Alright, every power pole can have three items and it's dependable on... Well, kinda the, the range. Uh, so, I guess we are going to build one more room on top of this hole. And it's going to be kind of high room. I know that, that ain't beautiful, but we'll, we'll look into that later. So, this is going to be my power pole row and... I already know how to fix that in the end. I already have a brilliant idea. Ding, 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 ding. Concrete, concrete. We need more concrete. <laughs> I think I even think we are not going to make this. Yeah, like I said, we need more concrete. We always need more concrete. Or is it cement? I'm not sure. Is it concrete or is it cement? I always keep to messing those things up. It is... it doesn't say here. It doesn't say. Well, we're going to know and find out in a few minutes. Alright. Let's see. It is concrete. Alright. Well, in Dutch it's cement. And I have a lot of crap in my inventory. Ooh, I also have slug. Let's test the slug because... I do need to test those things. I do, yeah, I definitely do. This game is all about research and exploration. It's not about building a factory, it's kinda exploring, getting alien stuff, and. Oh, I can pick now. Alter blueprints. Well, I'm definitely going to pick this one. That one's also nice. I guess we. Picked that one in 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 the multiplayer stream because I guess that's a mistake. But I need this one. The hard drive was done. Now we need Data the, on the hard whoa. drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Thank you, Ada. You're screaming in my ear. Well, I guess we're going to analyze this then. Why do I have a coal? I don't need coal. Let's throw it away. 
It's a waste of my inventory. All right, now we can build screws. I guess I have to tell WT we mess up with hard drives because I picked the wrong recipe there. <coughs> oh my God, my throat is hurting like hell. Why do I got copper ingots in my inventory? I can uh, fill my inventory with a lot of crap. What do we need? We need to set a goal for this. Oh man, it's total chaos, I guess. We need a medical inhaler. I could use a medical inhaler. We kind of need steel production. The Xenoblast would be nice to protect myself. I guess. Um, I like the fast belts. I kind of need the fast belts. But. Well, it doesn't matter which one we do because we are not going to get that finished in this episode. Definitely not. Alright. Now that we can set the screw recipe. And we got cement. Uh, we need a way up. And the way up is going to be that way. I love the factory. It's, it's being built like a fortress because I really hope that they are going to put in uh, that the animals attack you when you destroy their beautiful little planet. <coughs> that wasn't smart. No. That wasn't smart at all. Player in the way, player in the way, as always, there's a player in the way. Alright, I'm out of concrete again, but that doesn't matter because I think we are at the right spot to turn on this part of the factory. We're going to produce a lot of screws. This is kind of how you make mass production. All right, I kind of need one more. Oh my God, why, why, why do I get short just one? I hate trees coming through my roof. Come on. Destroy this, this little tree. Thank you. So I don't want to walk all the way back. So to get this all finished. Because I want to have this mass production up and running. Oh yeah, I don't need... Come on, get that thing out of my... Yes, thank you. Now, for the last part of this section... We are going to set up the power and as you notice... We need... A lot of power. Yeah, we do. You didn't notice that at all, no? Oh. Hmm. And the power is going to come from... Crap. Well, uh, for now it's going to come from this ugly pole. That isn't at a position I want it to be, but... Oh well. I don't mind at the moment. I kind of want to have this factory up and running. I definitely do. Or at least... Oh, not this part of the factory. Um, so, I'm going to get one power pole at this position. You got to be joking. Oh, I thought we were out of cable. One. Now, that one connect to the B line. The B lines connect to the C line. Yeah, that's. I think we need three on one row. Yeah, we do. Look that way, that one's connected. That one's going to be connected to that one. That one's going to be connected to that one. I don't think we are totally going to make it. Because I don't think the power lines extend that far. Oh my god, they do. That's kind of amazing. All right, it, it, it's kind of wiry. And maybe I'm going to move it up one just to make it more beautiful. But now the last thing. You're not supposed to make iron rust, you know? 
you shouldn't. You were supposed to make screws. Yeah. And not with this recipe. Alternatively, recipe. So. Why isn't this working? I picked the alternate recipe. But somehow, I'm not able. So I'm kind of lost because I should be able to make screws from. And I don't know what I did wrong. I definitely don't know what we did wrong. Alright, I need to take a look at the hub, so I'll be right back because I want to know what I did wrong. Paleodictiop red berries or pale berries can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier 1. Alright, sometimes you have to look further than your noses, and that's definitely something about me. I never saw this bar, so I thought I unlocked everything, but I didn't. I think I need to tell WT that as well. This is how you unlock the screws. Now you got them unlocked. Alright. Now we get back to the factory and we're going to bruise massively screws. We're going to be screwed as well. That's going to be fun. It's definitely going to be fun. Because these things are going to be making so much screws that I don't know what to do with them anymore. So, uh, let me... Put that one. I wonder if it needs to be. Missing. Oh, I'm missing cement again. Oh well. I'm first going to put on the workers. They are going to produce the alternate lift, alternate screws. And well, there are the first screws coming out. Now we need to put them all on the all, uh, on the alternate 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 screws. Man, what a word! What a word! Can I? No, I can't. All right, it's going to be a little job to do this, but then we got a lot of screws. Then we got a lot of screws. We are going to be totally screwed. No, we're not. We're going to produce a lot of screws. Uh, how am I going to get up there? Oh. 
All right. Now we need cement, as usual. And then we are going to make storage space. A lot of storage space. <clears throat> And I kind of want to make it a little bit different than the last stackable one. Because it doesn't... It, first thing, it, it came from the top and it was left going right. So that, that doesn't suit me that well. As you can see, the lines are already filled up with screws. A lot of screws. Come on, place it on the damn thing. Mm. All right, what are we going to do? Oh, that's not right. It would be right if we wanted that, but I want this. All right, now for the storage space. I kind of want to be able to get up there, so... Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get up there, and what are we going to do? Do we want two lines or do we want one line? I know I need screws for different things, so having two exit would be damn nice. So I guess I'm going to make one here, that way it can go up to the second floor somehow here. Not quite sure how we're going to do that, but... We definitely need to go to organization for that. All right, so these screws are going up here. And now I want them to go in that line. And... Hmm. Normally you would say we're doing something like this. And then make one of these things next to it. That one goes in there. And normally you would say we do something like this. But I don't like that because... <laughs> So, I'm going to try and think of something else, because that way I need to be the, the top one to be the one that goes up. So, what we are going to do is align this one perfectly. Uh, we're going to make the conveyor belt go in this one. And then... Well, we could say... How much what screws buffer do we want? Do we want three? I'm not sure. Well, I will go with foot three for now. We can always upgrade in the end and redo everything we've done. Because stuff can be messed up all the time. And as I'm going to figure out how to build the next part of the factory, what are we going to build the next part of the factory? It's going to be rotors, it's going to be um, num, 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 reinforced plates, it's going to be the frames, those three things. I'm not quite sure that it's all going to fit on this section. I'm, I'm totally sure it's not going to fit on this section. 
But we'll have to think something because we also have to expand this factory and make it a little bit different because I need the roads, I need the place that are in there for the next line. So we did pretty much in this episode and well as always I'm going to do a little bit in between to keep a little progress in it but that's mostly I mostly do that before the factory tour so while well, the factory tour gets a little bit interesting and you can get up to date it so I hope you guys all enjoyed it leave my tips tricks and any comment down below what do you think of me what do you like what do you dislike and I think it should get some more color but blissful kitty would approve on that as well see all what it like pink if you like a different color put it in the comment down below and uh, maybe you'll get your own color the factory well see y'all on the next episode of satisfactory my name is materials and keep building